uh, in the case of Najib, what he does is uh, he invites foreign uh, foreign investment from China to buy property in Malaysia, develop whole uh, sophisticated towns which are priced beyond the reach of Malaysians, and the chances are that this uh, development will be for outsiders, including uh, mainland Chinese, to come and live here. That is not foreign uh, direct investment. And none of our people are employed as workers. None of our companies are used for, for designing and planning and supervising, etc. We gain nothing. Um, but Chinese investments have been growing everywhere in the world. It's not just in Malaysia. Also in the US, which the US has taken issue. Also in Indonesia, it is the rise of China. Lots of people don't like Chinese investment. We are for Malaysia. We want to defend the rights of Malaysia. We don't want to sell chunks of this country to foreign uh, companies who will develop whole towns. Uh, 700,000 for this uh, project in, uh, in Johor. 700,000 from where? We don't have enough people with the wealth to buy all those very expensive flats, etc. So you are bringing in foreigners. No country wants to have an influx of huge numbers of foreign people into their country. That is what is happening in Europe. They put fences, barbed wires, in order to stop foreigners from coming in. But here, we gain nothing from the investment, no work for our people. They don't even pay tax here. They are going to be tax-free. So would your way be to put a quota, a limit, on Chinese FDI in Malaysia? No, there is already a good definition of FDI. They want to come and set up factories here using our workers, using our, our managers. They're welcome, like everybody else.